Recording. Hey, YouTubers. Mo here for Mo's Motorcycle Journey. Well, even though it's kind of a cloudy day right here in Michigan, I'm still says 84 degrees. It's about right around 78, 79 degrees. But anyways, I uh, wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about that gold wing clunk. And I think you know what I'm talking about when I say that. When you're shifting the dang gears. Get that big old clunk. So, something I realized, if you're interested, stick around. Start the intro. All right, welcome back, guys. If you just stumbled across my channel, click that subscribe button. It should be about right there. You can ring that bell notification. YouTube will let you know every time I upload a video. But definitely, uh, definitely subscribe. Anyways, that being said, um, Goldwing Clunk. I don't know if you guys know. And this, this, this goes for like the 12, or excuse me, the 1500s and the 1800s. So we're just talking about the manual Goldwing. Like I said, 1500 to 1800 till the uh, 2017 year. Um, but yeah, you ever notice when you're driving and you're, you're pulling that clutch and you kick that gear and I mean, you, you just got this big old clunk. And you know, it gets a little irritating sometimes, can be. You know, and there's two ways around it I've found. Uh, one, you can shift when you're at like 2,500 RPM quickly. I mean, that's quickly going through the gears. Uh, that's possible. Um, but when you are accelerating and, you know, you, you just, you kind of got the, I don't pay no attention to those bikers. You kind of got the, you know, you're getting on the throttle a little bit and, you know, you're rubbing it up to about 4,500 RPM, and then you kick that gear, and it's a big old clunk. Yeah, there's kind of a way around that. Now, I had to do some research before I put this video out here because I didn't want to be incorrect about anything that I said. Uh, and it's very important that, you know, I, I put a lot of honesty and integrity into my channel. So that being said, what I have noticed is if you preload the gear now you know when you're in first or second or third or fourth you can preload that gear and what i mean is you take your foot and you're i'm sorry i just really love these curves right here and i'm usually going through them about 45 50 miles per hour because uh, it's quite entertaining but anyways so uh, that little you got a little bit of i mean if you're in second gear or third gear and you're riding your gold wing and you just reach down with your foot and you pick up on that that uh shifter you'll feel just a little bit of slop in it you know and that's right before it engages you know into that next gear that's why it won't go any further but what you need to do is now like i said i had to research this before i did anything because I didn't want uh, my research to fall short or what I'm saying fall short. So there's two ways that you preload, it's called, to where you can preload the gear without using the clutch. You just roll off the throttle a little bit and the, by pushing up on the, uh, the shifter, it'll, it'll shift. But I don't recommend that with a gold wing. Please don't do that. It's not what they're made for. But if you pick your foot up on that gear selector, well, the shifter, and you just push it to, to where there's no slop in it, and then right before you shift, that, that was quick, didn't hear the click. So, I mean, you could barely hear it, but it's not like a, a slam, you know? And that's what I've noticed. It, it depends on how you guys want to ride you know, I'm not telling you what how to ride your bike. I've just noticed if you want that clunk to be less irritating, if it irritates you, 
uh, you can preload the gear. Now, I'm not saying that works when you're slowing down. I'm not recommending you go without using the clutch. Use your clutch. That's what it's there for. It's not an automatic. Um, but, you know, when, like I said, I'll give you another example. When you're accelerating, you know, you're getting 2 grand, 2200, 2500, 3000 lifting up on the shifter. I mean, that, that was quick. I mean, and it's quicker. It's a little quicker. There's another one. And you don't even have to pull the clutch in all the way. You just got to, you know, make sure you're in that friction zone. But so that's what I realized with the gold wing clunk, guys. Sorry, it took me a second to get there because, I, you know, I'm out riding and I like riding. I, I yeah, I, my wife and I went out uh, Friday last week and boy let me tell you it it was enjoyable uh the gold wing performed phenomenal we drove you know about a hundred mile round trip and it was just great i cannot wait i got to do a trailer hitch this weekend and get the wiring in but i cannot wait to to be there and be ready to go go riding i'm, I'm ready for riding season so but anyways, guys, if you like the video, leave a, a thumbs up. Uh, and you can always follow me at Moles Motorcycle Journey at gmail.com. Should be at the bottom of the screen down, down there somewhere. Yeah, um, down there somewhere. Uh, but that being said, remember, guys, if you don't make the choice, the choice makes you. You guys have a good one. We will talk at you soon.